Makita lang akong screen, everyone. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, so here are the things that we're going to talk about for today's orientation. So I'm hoping uh, na pamuriha, <laughs> wala pamuna board. Again, I'm only allowing you to introduce yourself. I know it will take a little while. That is because I want you guys to at least, although it's not enough, but at least you get to see your classmates and then you will know a little bit about them. And then I, I believe that for the entire duration of our, of this semester, you still get to know them right? um, even more. All right, so anyway, today we'll talk about the following, online and modular learning, learning management systems. Uh, we have Google Classroom, Facebook, etc. And then our course summary for ITS uh, 101 Computer Programming 1, and we'll talk about some of our class arrangements. This is the time that we get to know how are we going to conduct our classes and uh, more. And then, of course, we'll talk about our course requirements. What are the things that you need to do? Or what are the areas that you have to work on to pass our to pass this course? And then um, later on, you'll get to fill up the student directory. Um, basically, you're going to enter your personal information for us to easy um, to easily. Um, contact you you know and then we'll talk about the tools for programming and perhaps after that we are going to you know if there are additional questions or clarification you can ask it later on and in that way we'll be able to address it before we start with our semester will be before we start with the proper uh, the lesson proper okay so let's start with the learning management system so when you say learning management system these are the software application used to plan implement and assess learning process Okay, so um, by, by the way, before before we proceed, I'd like you to know that after this class, there will be learning assessment and assignment that will be posted. Posted, so try to keep up or try to take note on the things that we are going to talk today. All right, go back, going back. So, learning management systems. These are the software application used to plan, implement, and assess learning process. Um, you can call it an online classroom. Okay, this is where we are going to conduct our classes. Um, it could be either um, quizzes, assignments, um, so on and so forth. Okay, so these are called learning management system, and uh, or LMS. Here in our course for ITS one hundred one computer programming one, the LMS or the learning management systems that we are going to use is Google Classroom. Actually, okay, Google Classroom, Facebook or Facebook Messenger, and YouTube. Okay, so Facebook and Facebook Messenger and YouTube are not exactly LMS, but they, these are just platforms that will support our lesson, that will support our um, our course, our classes, right? And I'm just going to include that so I can explain it to you one by one. But the actual LMS that we'll be using is Google Classroom. And then we will use the Facebook and Facebook Messenger and uh, YouTube as a support platform to our LMS, right? Anyway, we'll talk more about it in just a few moments. Okay, so let's talk about Google, Google Classroom. Google Classroom is an LMS provided by um, Google, right? and then we'll be using this for our assignments and projects. So every time that we will conduct a class, just like this, there will be learning assessment that will be posted and assignment. Now, if I'm going to tell you that there will be assignment, automatically it will be uploaded through Google Classroom. Okay, so again, this is for assignments and projects now you can go to google, how to go to google classroom you just have to go to using br your browser if you're using you know chrome or firefox edge or whatever browser that you will be using um just go to classroom.google.com or if you're using mobile phones such as smartphone um android phones or ios or iphone rather or ipad something like that please install google classroom from play store if you're using android and an app store if you're using iOS, okay? And then later on, we'll talk more about how are we going to use it in just a moment. And another tool for our learning management is the Facebook and Facebook Messenger, okay? So we'll only use this for announcements. Just like what I did a few days ago and a while ago, I announced that there will be a, today we'll be having our orientation. So basically, we'll be using Facebook and Messenger for our announcement, okay? I guess everybody already know how to use Facebook. Right? So again, just in case if you're not really sure how to do so, just go to Facebook or www.facebook.com 
or install Facebook from Google Play Store if you're using Android and the App Store if you're using iOS. And then, this is very important, make sure to join our Facebook group, ITS 101 Nur Subais to 2021. The reason why we included 2021 because we already have group chat or chat, sorry, we already have Facebook group with the same name last year. Right? So we included 2021 just in case if you're going to search it on Facebook, make sure to join the group that says ITS 101 or Suba is 2021. Okay, so once you join in, you'll be asked with the, you know, some questions. And then just to make sure that you really are enrolled with ITS 101. And then once you make sure to fill up the questions so that you'll be accepted. All right, so that is for Facebook Messenger. Okay, so before we proceed, allow me first to show you our Google Classroom. So I, I, I told you a while ago that Google Classroom is for announcement and assignments. I'm sorry, assignments and the projects rather. So here's how you're going to go ahead and join our Google Classroom. So um, you can just click, use this link. I'll upload this later on. So all you need to do is just copy and paste it or just click on this link right away. Or you can go to um, Google Classroom and then enter this code. So, um, nakasulit, nakabuhat na banta na ani? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right. For those yes, who sir. haven't, yes, sir. That's good. That's yes, good. Sir. But for those who haven't done it yet, here's how you're. This is how you are going to do it. So again, you can either use the link that I provided. Can I? Pwede natong copy and paste. Copy this and then paste it on your browser URL. Okay, and then you'll automatically be, be joined. All right, maka join it automatic. However, if that will not work for you, there's another way. Copy this code, okay? CFL5NMU. Copy this code and then go to classroom.google.com. Classroom.google.com. And then, all right, by the way, before you can join, before you can use Google Classroom, you have to be, you have to create your own Google account. Okay, so I guess I should have told you a while ago that the first thing that you're going to do is to create a Google account. It's free. There's no fee in it. So there's no way, there's no reason for you not to create one because it's free and there are just lots of things you can do using Google um, email or Gmail kumbaga, or Google account. Okay, so again, so Go to Google or classroom.google.com and then click this plus icon at the top right corner. You can also see it on your, if you're using Google Classroom on your mobile device. Just pangitaaran ng plus icon and then select join class and then enter the code here. Okay, and then click join at the top. All right, that will, be, that will work just the same just in case if um, this link will not work for you. All right, so that is for sections A. So for to those nga ganahan nga kuan with screenshot, you may do so now. I'll give you five seconds. Well, you might want to take a screenshot just for you to, you know, get the code. No, sir. All right. Okay, let's proceed. So that is for the Google Classroom. And then let's proceed with the Facebook and Messenger. So I guess everybody has already joined our Google Classroom. I'm sorry. Facebook group, diba? Kani, allow me to open it up for you. Okay, this is our group, ITS 101 or Subai 2021. So I guess everybody has already joined, but just in case if you haven't, please go ahead and search ITS 101 or Subai 2021, or you can copy this URL. Can okay. I? All right. And then make sure to join. Again, make sure to fill up the questions so that you will be automatically be accepted. All right. And then we have our uh, Facebook chat groups. Uh, chat group rather the one that we just that I created make sure to um, join if you haven't joined it yet 
please comment your name. Uh, please send your kwan sa kaning sa chat ba sa ato ang in call messages rather in Google Meet so that I can add you later on. Again, if you haven't joined, if you're not joined in yet sa atong um, messenger ng chat group, please send your name here so I can add you later on. Um, your Facebook name rather. Alright, and then lastly, YouTube. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. Every time, or uh, moments like this, every time that we will have our online class, just like this, just like what we're doing, I am going to record it to give chance to other students who, who are unable to attend today, diba? or on our future classes. I'm going to record this class, and then I'm going to upload it to my YouTube channel. And then, every now and then, it's not going to be every day that I will be having online class because... Uh, let's face it, not everyone has the cap capability of or capacity or can afford it, uh, regular uh, internet connectivity, diba? So, to lessen the expenses to those who don't have Wi-Fi at home, uh, we're just gonna, um, we're going we're going to limit our online classes. Instead, I'm going to conduct a pre-recorded lecture. That means I'm going to, I will going to record a class and then I'm going to upload it on YouTube and then you can watch it anytime that you want so long as you will be it will be covered by the deadline diba? again every time that I will upload a class there will be learning assessment and assignment you'll be given one week to finish it and then you know you can watch the video anytime so long as you'll be able to finish it your works in one week or on on the sub deadline so again it will be on this YouTube channel Jules Publico here's the link youtube.com slash c slash julius publico so to check it here it is this one okay so i've uploaded um my classes from previous semesters and then in this, in this way you can watch it according to you know depending on kanus alang yung tanaon so long as um, it will be again it will be under the deadline diba? within the deadline rather so I'm going to upload it right here you can watch it home or wherever whenever you have good internet connectivity okay anyway I'm going to give you the links every time that we'll have a class. All right. So so far, do you have any questions regarding the LMS that we'll be using? Do you have any particular questions for the three LMS that we'll be using? None, sir. 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 Okay, uh, that's good to hear. Okay, let's proceed. So this would be our course summary. These are the things none, that we sir. are going to learn um, in computer programming one. Okay, so let's call it like that list of topics that, we'll, that we are going to discuss all throughout the semester. So let's start with after, you know, after today's um, class, our next class will be about introduction to computer programming. So here are the subtopics for introduction to computer programming. Feel free to take a screenshot for you to get update, for you to have a copy on it. So again, introduction to computer programming. Let's start with what is computer programming? Uh, we'll discuss the programming, the different programming languages, and then the types of computer programs, and then uses of computer programs. So basically, we'll just these these are all discussions about the introduction to computer programming, and then the next would be about the creative process. Okay, the program development life cycle, the process on which a program will be developed. We're we'll going to discuss how a program is being developed. From the moment that, from the planning phase, diba? Sa planning pa lang, and then the time that the program will be released to, for public usage. And then, we'll, we'll proceed with the C++ basics. So, I guess you already have an idea now. What would be the programming language that we'll be using for programming one? It's C++. C++ is one of the programming languages, and in fact, one of the easiest programming languages to learn. That's why we decided that this is going to be the programming language that we will start because this is not going to be your programming course that you'll take if you continue studying BS Computer Science or BS Information Technology. 
there will be lots of programming all throughout the years and we will start with a very basic and uh, that is say C++. Okay, so we'll discuss what is C++, C++ installation, your first C++ program and C++ output. Now, this will not make sense for now. This may not make sense for now, but later on as we go along, you guys will enjoy doing this. I promise you. All right, and then C++ variables. Okay, what are variables? The data types, identifiers, definitions, declaration, and initialization. So, again, um, if you can remember, those who have interviewed during the screening process, I informed you that there will be mathematics in information technology or computer science. This is why, okay? So you get to understand what are variables, how to use variables, and the best variable sounds familiar. We use this in algebra. So you get to do the same thing with programming. And then um, we will have Oh, we will go into understand how to work with the variables. So for output and user input. And then after that, we will try to cover all of these before midterm. We will try. It's not, it's not always a guarantee, but we will try to cover all of those topics before the midterm. And then, of course, after midterm, we will continue learning about arithmetic operators, C++ conditional statements, like the relational operators, if-else statements, logical operators, switch statements, and we will end with the C++ loop types, okay? So these are the topics that we were that we are going to discuss all throughout the semester for computer programming one. And although there, there are no guarantee na atonis lang makover tanan, but we will do our best to cover all of these topics. And that way, this will equip you to be, you know, to be ready with the more advanced programming, computer programming courses as you go, as you go along with this course okay so so far do you have any questions or do you have any topics that you would like to add to our course summary okay all right no sir okay so agree na tatanan agree tatanan aning uh, list of topics okay but just in case if you have any anything yes, that you'd yes. like to add yes, sir. or anything now yes, sir murag advance kayo ni let's discuss it in our programming too soon just let me know. Okay. All right. So here's gonna be our class arrangement. Please go ahead and mute yourselves. It's in a major. Okay. Thank you. All right. So th these are our class arrangement. This is how we are going to conduct our classes. So I told you a while ago. Now for this orientation, I'm hoping that everybody will be able to attend. Anyway, I'm only going to ask you to, you know, do this online class karon lang. And then we will set our, you know, we will set our plans in that way. It will make our classes easier for you. Okay. So here, here are our class arrangements. First is we will conduct a synchronous class or meaning when you say synchronous, um, synchronous is just like what we are doing now. I'm talking well, and then you hear me at all at the same time. So murab live nga class, just like what we are doing now using Google Meet. So that is what we call synchronous class. Now, we will only conduct a synchronous class at least once to twice a month only. Okay? So this may not be a guarantee. It might be there must be there might be a chance that I will ask for a synchronous class more than twice a month um, on special occasions. Right? But I'll try my best to just conduct a synchronous class once or twice a month only. That is to give chance to other students na dili for the internet connectivity. Um, right away or all the time, diba? Mahal man kayang internet connectivity good. And then not everybody is located on an area nga na ay good coverage, na ay good internet connectivity. So instead, I'm just going to ask at least once to twice a month only, but there might be a chance that I will ask, I will conduct a asynchronous class on special occasions. Like if there's something that we need to cover, something on, regarding the class that we need to cover right away so that before we can proceed to the next topic, so we're going to do that. And then, how about if we're only going to conduct once to twice a month only, how about the rest of the days, the rest, the rest of the weeks of the month? So here's the thing. I will upload a pre-recorded class every week. So that is already a guarantee that every week there should be a class. So if we're not doing a synchronous class, then I'm going to re record a class 
and then I'm going to upload it to my YouTube channel, the one that I just showed you a while ago. Okay, and that would be every week. So I expect expect that, for example, this week we already have orientation. So maybe by Friday I'm going to upload another one, that will cover for the next week's koan lesson. Okay. And each class, there will be assignment and assessment activities that will follow. Okay, so what are assignments? Assignments may depend. So it will be an application to what we've just discussed. An activity that will be, you know, an application regarding to what we've just discussed. And then the assessment, mostly these are quizzes or examination. Okay, so again, every week or every, you know, every week there must be assignment and assessment that you'll take. Don't you worry. As far as the assignment and assessment goes, I will give you a week, okay, or a total of five days, five to seven days uh, deadline depending on the level of, you know, the level of hardness of the quiz or assignment perhaps. I'll give you at least five to seven days uh, deadline and that way you'll be given a chance to, you know, prepare and really work for it. So there shouldn't be any reason for you, uh, sir, will I take assessment of assignment because deadline. I don't think that's going to be a problem because you'll be given five to seven days. All right? And then um, the assessments. Here's how we're going to do. Okay, so since we'll we only be meeting once or twice a month, Raman, you'll still be checked with, you'll still be, uh, please go on mute. Thank you. All right. So please, okay. Since we'll only be doing our classes once or twice a month, Raman, so your attendance will be checked by taking the assessment activity on time, okay? So example, and deadline is Friday, and you take the assessment before Friday or on or before Friday, you will be credited for your attendance for the entire week. But present naka for the entire week. So, imagine if ma-miss ni mong usak assessment, na-pektuhan ang imuhang grade, na-pektuhan pa jod ang imuhang attendance. Imong grade sa assessment, and then na-pektuhan pa jod imong grade sa attendance because that is a total of one week worth of attendance okay and then the learning assessment activities like quizzes or examinations will be done through google form so a google form is another tool that we will be using for our learning management so i'm going to send you a link every time that we will conduct a class the link will contain a form and the form will contain the quizzes it, most of the time it will be multiple choice or fill in the blanks or something like that okay so again, the learning assessment like quizzes or examinations will be done through Google Form. And then the assignment will be posted through Google Classroom. Okay? Naklaro ba? Do you have any questions so far? No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. Okay, all right. But just in case sir. if you have, I know that ako kasabot ko anang karun wala pa tayo question, but later on, makahunaw na natag mga questions. So just in case if that happens to you, just let use our just use our google you know i'm sorry facebook chat group to raise your questions diba para you know ma, we will we'll try to make sure to we'll try to address your clarifications or your concerns and then let's try to keep it kwan lang sa ato lang before we are going to, if na mga problema nako or sa atong klase um let's try to talk about it first okay let's try to keep it ourselves before nimo ipang post Okay, because right now it's very easy to, you know, screenshot and then post online and then destroy the credibility of the instructor, destroy the credibility of the the teacher, right? All right, if there are any problems, okay, I'm not going to go on. If not, if not my problem, not my clarifications, if I'm talking or if I'm teaching too hard for you, please let me know right away. Or if you have any clarifications, please let me know. And let's try to keep it as private as possible. Okay. All right, so well, I'm only on YouTube channel a while ago. So again, all the pre-recorded classes will be uploaded here. And uh, to, including today's lecture, I'm going to upload it as well. In that way, for those who are absent for today, they will still be able to watch it diba, later on. And then they'll still learn just like what you did. All right, so let's proceed with our course requirements. So these are the things, the areas that you'll have to work on for you to pass this koan, this course, okay? So attendance, which is online. All right, I'm sorry. Now I word new modular, but to be honest, wala natin modular class for now. 
I'm, I don't think that is a, an option so far for the past few semesters or the past couple of semesters. There's never been a modular class. That is because um, for some reason it dagang mga problema nga ni occur. Uh, I'm not going to talk more about it, but let's focus on the online, okay? Uh, let's focus on the online. Again, the attendance will be done every time that we will have this synchronous class, it's just like just like what we are doing now. And every time that I'm going to upload a class as well. Diba? Katong kinsa tomo takes assessment on time, you'll be present for the entire week. So that's a total of 10%. So it's not much, but this 10% will help you a lot, especially if you're um, doing not really not really good with the rest of the areas. Okay? And then we have assignments. Assignments, uh, that will be a total of 20%. Okay? Again, the assignment will be done through Google Classroom. And then we have learning activities or assessments, just like what I said a while ago using Google Form and so on and so forth. That's also another 20%. And then projects, from time to time, I'm going to ask you to, um, you know, to create a project. There will be no money involved in this project. There will be no physical, um, wala mga physical mga projects that will be done. Is because obviously we are on an online learning. Oh, we are on an online learning, and everything must be done online. So most of the projects that we'll be doing, especially this is computer programming one, will be about related to the computer programming. And then, okay, that's twenty percent. And then our major examination that is thirty percent. That will be a total of. 100%. Okay, again, attendance 10%, assignment 20, learning activities or assessments that's 20, projects that's 20, and major examination is 30, total of 100%. Do you have any questions so far for regarding our course requirements? None, sir. No, okay. no sir. No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. <laughs> anyway, anyway, again, if you have any questions, you can feel free to send it through our Facebook chat group. Anyway, all right, so next is let's talk about the student directory. So um, after this class, I'm going to have to let you fill up a Google form containing, um, this form will contain your personal information, your contact information rather, and then um, generally um, information about you. But don't you worry, this information will be kept private. This will be kept by the university and for the university only. This will never be used for any other purpose but only to um, get a profile from you, contact information. And another thing, we're going to have you, uh, we, will, we, will, we will present to you uh, some conditions, <laughs> terms and conditions in studying. Not really sure what is the actual term, but let's just say it terms and conditions. All right. And then I'm going to discuss it to you later on. But here's what we're going to do. After we end this class, you're going to have to click this link and then you'll get to fill up the student form, uh, student directory form. Okay? So let's just check what it is. And then let me explain to you some of the areas before you. In that way, sign mo nga, nakasabot mo sa yung designan. Hold on. Let me copy this link and then let me paste it right here. Okay, so here are the things that you're that you have to input. So oh no, delete my na paste, sorry. Hold on. Delete my link. This would be for your assessment. Hold on, let me paste another link. This is for the student directory. Okay, so the first thing that you get to fill up, okay, again, this form aims to gather pertinent data for the president's support to be presented during the, okay, so this will be about the, this data will be presented to the university, uh, and then this will, information that way to make it easier for us to contact you and how we can um, make the, the online class better for you, all right? So you'll have to enter your email, student ID number, your um, last name, your first name, and middle initial, your contact number, your address, your course, and then the subject. So right now, this is ITS Koan, ITS uh, 101. So make sure to select ITS 101 here. All right. And then section. 
So if you're from section A, select section A. And then the second part would be about student gadgets and internet connectivity. This will allow us to know your status or, you know, your position when it comes to the online class, diba? When we're doing online class, we need to have a gadget or na dapat na atay gadget na gamitin sa online class. And we need to have your internet. Uh, we need to check whether you or not you have good internet connectivity or not. Okay? So this is what you're going to do. You're going to select the first part, available gadgets. So if you have this desktop computer, personal laptop, tablet, cell phone, and so on and so forth, select the checkbox next to it to those who will kwan, if na kaani mabutanga. And then, what is the device ownership? So, for example, if you have computer desktop computer, did you do you personally own it? Or is it borrowed? Or is it shared with another student or another family member? And then, your internet connectivity. If there are absolutely no internet connectivity at your home or at your place, select none. And then, if you have limited, just if you're limited, meaning nagpaload ka, or GigaSurf, or um, sapaman, GoSurf, something like that. So you have to select limited. But if you have Wi-Fi at home or DSL at home, select good. Okay. And then the last part would be about the virtual classroom policy. So again, more ni ang gingon gina ng terms and condition. This is virtual classroom policy. So please read and understand each section. And then you have to agree to it. Okay, you have to agree to it. This will serve as our agreement be between you, a student, and us as instructor and the university. Um, and you know, in conducting our online classes. Diba? So more of these will be discussed during the orientation student orientation, university student orientation. I think na may mo about nana. But just to give you a uh, heads up, here's what this is all about. So First, classroom policy, create a quiet and comfortable study space. You're about to work, collaborate, and learn. Your environment should be set up for that. Find a location that is free from any destruction by other family members, pets, background noises, or cell phones. I know this would be very hard for you. Some will be hard for some of you, rather, because most of the time, na ajay mga dis mm, disturbances during our online classes. So, anyway, I just try to do your best to... Uh, eliminate those or lessen those and uh, na lang. just like what we're doing now for us not to be disturbed too much I ask you to mute yourselves diba? alright and then dressed for school okay this is very important most of the time pag na online class ang uba nag tigda lang um, nag nag wala nag sanina nag de braso because unsa goy unsa goy kuan nga online class ni well it's true that it's just an online class but again this is a university still you are still studying on a university and we are supposed to look if not really good but at least at least we'll we'll try to make to look good okay and uh, we know that diba, not everybody will appreciate your abs <laughs> although bisag na kay abs or something <laughs> uh, not everybody will appreciate it okay so let's go on let's give it to them let's try to uh, look as good as possible okay so just you don't have to make up do make up no that's not it you just have to um, wear formal or you know proper clothes and ano lang. Now, items such as tank tops, revealing clothing, or search or with offensive prints are in the preparation for class. Okay? And then be on time. Classes are re relatively short and there's generally a lot of material to be covered. Okay? Make sure to be on time. And I really appreciate you guys. Nga sayo kayang uban And I'm sorry if this take this will take a little while. Like I said. We'll be covering lots of things, and we'll, we'll try to cover it in a short amount of time. And then, come prepared. You should come to class with syllabi and the writing material you need. Okay, um, later on, I'm going to send you guys the syllabi and our course um, outline for you to be ready. No, uh, it's not really not that required, but it would be it would be better if later on, akong taganta mo of our um, topics. It would be better if you guys can, you know. Um, Matanaw ninyo ang mga, you can do advanced research or study. That way, it would be easier for you to, kuan, masayo ninyo nga itake ang klase if you already have an idea what's going on or what are the things that you that you have to learn.
Okay, next is Superman. Mm. Okay, this is very important. Mute, mute your microphone and turn your camera camera on. Now, uh, about the camera, I will only ask you. I'm I delico delikay ko mo stricto sa camera. It's because let's face it, camera will ko an mo ko asya grabbing uh, mobile data bandwidth. So, mahurot da yun ang imong MB kung mag on yung camera. But, from time to time, every time that you will, ask to be, you will be asked to speak, you should turn on your camera. And, um, but every time that you join in our Google Meet, make sure to mute your microphone. That is to give chance to others. If langas kay imong background, let's respect them. Their kuan, ang ilang ganahan sa laghilom. Of course, I want it to be kuan, pag ganahan po laghilom. Alright? And, we, I guess everyone wants a kuan. Ganahan medyo proper nga klase, there are no background noises. So as soon as you join the classroom or Google Meet, mute your microphone and you can turn, you can leave your camera on or you can leave it off. It can be totally up to you. Very, but it's important that microphone is turned off, you know. And then you'll, you, anyway, if you'll be asked to speak, that's the time that you're going to mute your, unmute yourself and then mute it back as soon as you're done speaking. And then, do not drink or eat during class. I guess this is very man kayo. In general, you should engage in activities that don't contribute to the lesson. Eating and drinking is an obvious example here. Pay attention. Class participa participation is mandatory. It will count toward, towards your grade. All right? And then, don't play with your computer or other devices if you're on class. So, I kaina daghang ningon nga modula sila mobile games. Um... TikTok, Facebook, YouTube, okay, please, let's try to avoid those every time that we will have a class, okay? And uh, next is be respectful, I guess this, um, this will be about your characteristics now, character now, so please read this, and then have fun and be creative. This is very important, especially when doing online classes, diba? Although, some of the classes that will be, will, We'll be having maybe boring, but try to have fun and be creative. Be creative in a way that you're still going to enjoy the classes without, kane, without breaking this kane, uh, section. And then the student shall be graded according to the following criteria, the one that I just told you a while ago. This would be about your grading system, attendance, 10%, so on and so forth. And each criterion will be computed as follows. So attendance, that's zero based. That means if you got zero attendance, then you get zero grade for attendance. For learning assessment and the rest of the areas, you will be graded gross multiplied to by 60 plus 14. So that means, for example, for your major exam, you have 80% or 80, you've got 80 in a score out of 100. So that will be 80 times 60 plus 40. So that will be your grade for major exam. And then, this is very important, guys. This will be about your absenteeism, something like that. So, student that the stu okay, should the student fail to attend three consecutive online classes, both synchronous and asynchronous, the subject will be subject. Okay, the student will be subjected for explanation. You will be you your your um, attention will be will be you know will be. Attention, you'll be asked to explain why are you absent for three consecutive classes. Okay? We will listen to your reason and if should a student fail to provide valid reasons for the absences, the student shall be sub subject for dropping. Okay, so this is very serious. So if you have any problems, you know, that that will allow you that will make you kinda maka absent ka Please prepare for valid reasons. Now, the instructor reserves the discretion for the validity of the student's reason for their absences. Should the student fail to comply any coursework before midterm, the student will be subject for explanation again. The instructor reserves the discretion for the validity of the student's reason for their com compliance of the coursework. So, the reason why we added this particular section, it's because last for in the past semesters, dagan ka yung mga estudyante nga from the moment that the classes start up until nahuman, agad ba ganing, wala sila ni attend sa klase, wala sila gibuhat nga mga works, but 
pag finals na dito na sila nag-submit sa ilang mga kulang but wala may mahimo it's because ni submit man sila di man mo sila ma-fail di na mo sila ma-INC because ni submit sila so we don't want that to happen so here's what we're going to do Be make sure that before any course works like assessment and assignments before midterm if ang us ang estudyante wala jud siya ni buhat bisag usa you'll be subject for explanation okay so make sure to do your course course works before midterm make sure nga naadyo kay makomply okay assignment assessment so on and so forth otherwise you will be subjected for explanation now if the student kuan dili valid ang young reason then he or she will be subjected for dropping we don't have a choice but to drop you okay and then the students are encouraged to submit their coursework on or before the set deadline okay the instructor reserves the discretion for the outcomes so every time that we will have an assessment an assignment or quizzes the i will set a deadline and if you guys failed to take you know to comply then the instructor may reserves the discretion for the either penalty or any possible outcomes i could perhaps give you an extension or i could totally close the koan din na dawaton ng mga late comes it would be totally up to me and you don't have a choice because it says here the instructor is reserved the discretion for the outcomes anyway just kidding all right and then lastly any changes in this virtual classroom policy will be announced by the instructor during Process. So just in case any of these sections will be changed, I'm going to inform you. So do you have any questions regarding the koan, the virtual classroom policy, and overall the student directory? None, sir. Answer. Answer. Okay. No, sir. All right. Answer. 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 Okay. Answer. I'm expecting that you guys agree on all of this, and if you did, please go ahead and okay, sir. open up kaning atong Google form. Kani, I'm going to upload it later on. Make sure to fill it out, and then um, just an, in addition, once you fill it out, you are allowing us to read your information. But our uh, what? Okay, you are allowing us to read your information and use it only for the student directory. We're not going to use it. The university will not use it for any other purpose, but just for the student directory. Okay, and then. All right, if no questions for that, let's proceed. We're almost done now. So here are the tools for programming. So, okay, so the, the, the tools for programming, basically these are the software or applications that we'll be using for programming, okay? So not all of us has computers, but most of us has smartphones, okay? So we're going to divide the students, or not really divide, but Depending on say na if you have laptop and computer, you have sets of applications that you have to install in your computer. And then if you don't have and you only have smartphones, then there are sets of um, applications that you'll have to install in your computer. I'm um, sorry, your smartphone for that we'll be using for programming. Okay, so this is because if this pandemic happened, siguro sa among times a una a few years ago, na wala pa ni mga program, wala pa ni mga software. I'm not sure how we're going to make it with the pandemic. But thankfully, okay, thankfully, I should probably say, na nahita ni pandemic during these times ba, na naan na ni mga application because back then, wala mga application that we can use for mobile phones for, for programming or any other IT-related koan, nga mga activities related to IT field. Okay? So again, if you have a desktop or laptop computers, you'll you have to install a few or a couple of um, programs same with android or ios users now for desktop and pc and laptop computers you need to install dev c++ okay to download dev c++ copy this link or you can just google it uh, search it through google dev c++ this is an ide or inter um ide integrated development environment for programming, C++ programming. Anyway, we'll talk more about it in our future lesson. Now, if you don't have laptop or PC computers, I'm sorry, if you don't have laptop or desktop computers, and um, if you have Android phone or you know smartphone, you have to install CXX Droid. This would be the logo. Okay, again, CXX Droid. Can I? You can download it through Play Store. 
you just have to Google it or copy this link. And then for iOS, you have to install a couple of things. So I'm not sure if ang CXX Droid available na ba siya sa iOS, but if it's not, install this C slash C plus plus program compiler, kana, and then CPP code, or, or rather, or either kani or kani CPP code of C plus plus IDE and compiler. Just have to copy this link if you're using an iPhone or iPad. Okay. And then additional tools. So I encourage you guys to use these tools for learning a C++ programming. After all, like I said, there are just too many lessons that we may miss because of the limited time that we've got during online classes. So for you to learn more about programming or if you want to learn programming, C++ programming in advance, uh, try to use these tools we have uh, for online learning www.w3schools.com slash cpp so the w3 schools does not offer only c++ but it also offers other programming languages we have HT I'm sorry we have um, Java there's also web development courses in there like H HTML CSS so on and so forth okay but just go to slash cpp for you to get started with c++ programming Another, another online learning platform would be the Tutorials Point. So just go to www.tutorialspoint.com slash C++ and then, you know, to learn about C++ programming. And you can also install some applications on your on your mobile device, you know, to learn, go on, to learn C++ programming on your own. So we have Solo Learn. This is one of the best um, programming tutorial application around. And I'm using this for not just for C++, but for any other programming languages. So again, solo learn. Use this link to download. Uh, Alright, ano lang? Kanilang? Solo learn. And there are tons, oh, there are a lot more, daghan pa kayo mga applications that is available on Play Store or App Store that will help you with the C++ programming. You just have to search for it, try it, and then make use of it. Okay? All right, so that will be the end of today's class. Um, do you have any questions? No, sir. No, okay. not sure. No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. Excuse me, sir. Ah, oh, nice question. Kana katong sa katong sa amo fill up answer. Imura tong isen sa group chat. Yes. Um, ako tong ipang sentanan. All of those that we've just talked about, all of the things that I promised, especially the links. I'm going to send it all to you and. I'm also going to upload this kaning uh, PowerPoint presentation so that you can have a copy, diba? And then all you need to do is just click this. Can I click new that and it will automatically route you to the link. But again, I'm going to okay, upload sir. this later on. Okay? So, on okay, line, sir, thank you, sir. No problem. Thank you, sir. Ha, ha, ha. Kinsa to? Say question? Wala na, Sir, kaning solo learn, like lagi siya logo sa Play Store kasi ay mong ipakita ka ron. Dili ni, dili na. Kaning may solo learn nga icon nga logo. Oh. Itom uh, iyang background ko. Ay basig na basig giusob na nila. I'm not sure this this ko an kaning nga uh, presentation I've created this or I prepared this a couple of semesters ago naman good. So I guess they've already changed it, but um okay, let me try to open it up. Para mabalaan nato kung saan ilahang logo ka ron. Hold on. Play.cool.com hmm. Okay, amore um, siya. Kana siya, black na iyang background. But it's koan. Basta kay ang iyahang nga publisher is... Um, what na nakabutang asa ang publisher ani? Well, asa na lagi rin. But, mo ni siya. Kana yung uh, app, install it in your device. 
So you can use it for learning um, C++ and any other programming languages on your own. Okay, and so pa na napila yung question? Wala well, sir. Everyone, wala na? I know, no, sir. I know. No, sir. Okay, I know. Go no, to sir. Na, go to no, na sir. But thank you so much for your patience. Kape, sir. Kape. I just do get atong class today. Again, this is because this is an orientation and we'll try to cover as much as lesson as we can. But don't you worry, on our future lessons, oh, on our future classes, we'll only be taking one hour na lang because that is only our, our schedule. But um, there might be chance na malapo yung siya one hour, guys. It's because if you can... If tanaw ni yung load slip, supposedly our class would be daily, di ba? Every day. And like I said, we'll only be doing once or twice raman yun, kada bulan, or once every week, rather. So, obviously, we will have to render more than one hour yun sometimes, di ba? So, I hope you guys will understand that. Okay? So, to assess your learning, if there are no more questions, you're we're gonna have to assess your learning for today. So, after the, we after we end this um, class, please copy this link or I'm going to send it to you later on and then fill out. Make sure to answer it. Uh, read and read and um, understand each questions or each items carefully and then try to answer it, okay, as honest as possible. I know it's very possible for you to sh sharing, to share your answers, but let's try to go and lang. I, I, cannot, I cannot force you not to do that, but let's try to be honest as possible. Okay, and the deadline would be Friday, September 17th at 11.59 p.m. So, any other, kuan, kinsa tong late nga mo take sa form after nasa 17th, then it will automatically be closed and you can no longer answer it. Alright, and then for your assignment, create and enroll an account to our Google Classroom class. Now, if wala pa ka naka-create o Google Classroom, wala pa ka ka-join sa tong classroom, that will be your assignment. Use the class code provided a while ago. And then second, fill out the student directory. Attach a screenshot showing the form response. Usually it will say, thank you for your response, good luck, and keep safe. Okay, so again, for your assignment, first is you have to create and enroll to Google account. So you just have to attach a screenshot na lang, Anna. I'm going to upload it later on. And then attach a screenshot shot, and then fill out the student directory. Same thing, attach a screenshot showing that you've already responded. Okay. By the way, do you have do you have Kuan, do you need Kuan help regarding how to use Google Classroom? So allow me to show you lang very very quick na lang. Allow me to show you very quick how to use Google Classroom. How to Kuan unsa oni mo pag Kuan unsa oni mo pag submit perhaps o class or something like that or assignments rather. So I have here some of my MS IT subjects here. So I am like the stu student ko aning mga subjects. So allow me to open one. I'm not supposed to, but let me open one. And then here, he this is just an example, okay? So dilinya to as ako aning masteral. So the list of assignments will be posted here, kaninga classwork. Ana or makita po nato na siya dire sa iya sa iyang stream. But just to make sure, just go go to the classwork here. And then here will be the list of student koan, mga assignments. Okay, so all you need to do is open up one of them, view material. Okay, hold on. Can I? I uh, know classwork. Can I? View assignment. Can I? Na I word view assignment. And then, if you're ready, na diri ang details about sa assignment. And if you're ready, you just have to na option diri para mo create or to to submit to attach a file. So you just have to select attach file and then turn in. Okay, I cannot show it to you because if ako nang unsubmit, mawala akong records akong masteral. So anyway, sa right side, sa your work, na ay magawas dito nga file that you have to attach, your file rather, and then submit. So the files could be either screenshot or pro program or something like that, depende kung sa nga classic assignment. But for your first assignment, I've asked you to send a screenshot to my so you just have to take a screenshot that you've already enrolled for the kane. Oh, you don't have to worry about that because makita man ako na the report. You just have to ko lang to give me or to submit a screenshot that you've already taken the Google form, the student directory, and then submit. Okay. 
sir. Okay, wala na ba question gyud sigurado na aron mahumanta? Sir, um, sir. mata na lang ko. Sige, sige, go ahead. Um, kana nga mong screenshot ang mura nang ipim nimo pag send. Ah, dili, dire na, dire ni, dire gani. Um, dire nga sign sa Google for um sorry, sa Google Classroom. Na to i option dire. Unfortunately, I cannot show it to you. Pero just kwan lang, try lang na ninyo. Na i option dire nga mo attach og file. So, dito niyo ibutang i-click niyo na i-attach niyo tong screenshot and then click turn in. Na ay nakabutan din turn in. That will automatically okay, okay. that will allow you to submit your assignment. Diba? Ay lang i-PM na ko, it's because I cannot check it. Matabuna na siya og daghan nga messages and by the end of the semester I can no longer find it. So, make sure to do it right here. Uh, I'm not sure if napa ba ko yung mga wala na submitan na mga QNB sa master. Hold on. Let me try to find an actual QN. Hold on. Nakasamit na po ko. Ah, no. Alright. Okay. I don't think I have any other assignment here nga wala pa na ako nasamitan. But again, just try lang. Try lang ninyo. Just let me know if you're having problems. But here, usually it's in the um, your work uh, part. Sa mobile device, same ragya pa na siya sa mobile device. They only differ with the um, as a shaggy place. Pero pang itaar tong your work nga part and then select the koan. File nga mong ganahan upload then turn in. Okay? And then the deadline will still be the September 17, 2021 at 11.59 p.m. Okay, so that will be all for today, guys. Thank you so much for attending the class. If you have any questions, if you have any clarifications, use our Facebook chat groups for, you know, if you have any questions. And I'm going to send you more updates regarding our course soon, okay? Okay, okay, sir. Can we, can okay, you all, sir. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Thank you. Can you all turn on your camera? You. Just put picture, picture lang takadali. If that will be okay. No, sir. Okay, palihog ko. Palihog ko. No. Turn on sa inyong camera. Palihog, babe. Pwede po ka rin. No, sir. 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 Yes, yes. Picture. Go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> sir, di ka mo hatag og PPT. Ay, isa na ko later on. Isa na. <laughs> Okay, I'll send you later sir. on. Um, or... Sir, can I have an assignment, sir? Five to seven days? Na, oh, later on, I'll send you a upload of the class eh, and then I'll set the deadline. And the deadline will usually be five to six days. Especially, for example, if I'm going to upload now, then either the deadline would be Friday sure. or Monday next week. But depending on the assignment, if I feel like the assignment is too easy, I'll send you five days. Okay. Alright. Okay, let's wait for everybody else to turn on the camera real quick. Uh, hold on. Uh, Alright, okay. Let's go around. Okay. Okay, anyway. Um, hold on. Okay. Ready? Smile, huh? Ready? Three, two, one. Peace, lead. Okay. All right, thanks so much, guys. You may now end this fun. You can now um, exit, and then I'll see you in our next class, okay? Thank you so much, sir. Thank you. Bye, sir. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Bye, sir. Bye, sir. Bye, bye. Bye, thank you. Bye, bye, sir. Thank you, sir. Bye. Bye, bye. Bye, bye. Bye, sir. Oh, okay.